afternoon, we are going to discuss all about inclining experiment. So, what is ex inclining experiment, by the way? It is defined as the metacentric height of the ship which plays an important role in setting the loading capacity and stability of the ship. Therefore, the initial metacentric height of the ship is determined by what we call as inclining experiment after the ship is completely built. So, which means that uh, it is only a bare ship without cargo. So, we are trying to figure out the initial metacentric height or GM of the ship after it is completely built once it is already at sea. So, how are we going to conduct this experiment? Right. So, this is how we conduct the inclining experiment. We need to have a yard and a pendulum from the main deck to the top tank which has a wooden button. So, in the picture, we have here the wooden button and then we have the yard from the main deck going to the top tank. So, to have a wider understanding, if this is the cargo hold of the ship, so this is the main deck, so we, have, we need to have a long yarn and uh, it is from the main deck going to the top tank, this is the top tank. Okay. So, if this is the main deck, coming from the main deck, then, uh, so this is uh, the yard, and uh, we have here the wooden button, and then within the wooden button, we need to have markings in order for us to determine uh, how many uh, meters no? will be the result if uh, the, the ship will be tilted to one side thus the yarn will move also to one side it means it has a deflection so this is the weight we shifted on the lateral sides using the ship screen so so we need to have the weight of um, this uh, shifted objects and then we need to also to take note of the distance to which it came from. So probably it is from beam to beams. No? Alright. So this is the uh, formula. So these are the formulas that we are using to calculate for the initial metacentric height or GM weight times distance the weight that we are talking here is uh, this one the weight of this one and then the distance to which it came from divided by the ship's displacement so the displacement uh, that we are talking here is the light ship displacement. Right. Multiplied by length or plumb line when upright or AS and length divided by length of plumb line when deflected or ST. So this is AS and ST. So this is the length of the plumb line up at upright and then the length of plumb line at uh, deflection. So, so this is the deflection, button deflection. This is ST. So if we have here a triangle, we can use Sokatawa here. Huh? So tangent 
theta divided by uh, equals opposite divided by adjacent in order for us to determine how much is the uh, list of the shape uh, given the weight being shifted laterally so therefore we, we can say that tangent theta equals the button deflection divided by or st divided by the length of the pendulum now we can also uh, solve for the metacentric height using gg1 or the um, the shift of uh, the transverse i mean the shape of the center or the position of the center of gravity gg1 right so we have also these formulas and uh, we have here gg1 uh, tangent theta equals gg1 divided by gm or gg1 equals gm times tangent theta and gg1 equals weight times distance divided by the symbol for displacement and uh, gm tangent times tangent theta divided uh, equals weight times distance divided by displacement therefore gm equals weight times distance divided by displacement times tangent theta so we have already this one tangent theta equals depletion, depletion divided by the length and uh, we derive on this uh, formula the first formula which i have given to you huh? so we don't need to use this we we should use the, the first four formula that uh, but you can use this one but uh, in my example we will not be using this anymore however the formula that uh, we are using uh, is derived from this uh, formula All right so again uh, to give emphasis on the difference of the pendulum and deflection okay so this is the formula again deflection divided by pendulum to obtain the angle theta but if we have a given gm already uh, if we have a given gm then uh, also uh, we have gg1 then we can also uh, obtain uh, the value of tangent theta that is if we have already the uh, given gm and then given gg1 so after conducting a, a, a um, inclining experiment and then we already determine the GM and then the GG1. We can use this formula as well. No? How much is the the angle no? that is uh, produced no? by shifting a specific cargo, a specific distance uh, from one side to the other. All right. So we have the example. So this is just the first example. So a ship has a light ship GM. It means that we have only a bare ship, 6.1 meters, and a light ship displacement for a bare ship of 3,150 tons. So when a mass of 15 tons already on board is moved horizontally across the deck through a distance of 10 meters it causes deflection which is 0 0.25 meters or st this is the st and we have the as which is the length of the plumb line upright which is 8 
meters. The question is how to calculate the shapes, light shape kg, using the formulas. So, we can solve this problem using this formula, gm equals weight times distance divided by displacement times as divided by st. So, first we need to use the value of the weight times the distance where it is moved um, horizontally divided by the displacement which is 3,150 tons times 8 meters divided by 0 0.25 meter. So we have 0 0.4762 times 32. GM equals 1.52 meter. Since we have already GM and we have already KM, then we will be able to obtain the value of KG by means of subtracting the value of GM to the given KM or light shape KM which is 6.1 meters in order for us to determine the light shape KG which is 5.58 meters. I am sorry, I was not able to put the unit of measurement but that is in meters. Next example, this would be the last example and the uh, next example is the task that I have given to you which is uh, to calculate for a given example of inclining experiment in our model. But before that, let us discuss this example first. As a result of performing the inclining experiment, it was found that the ship had an initial metacentric height of 1 meter. A mass of 10 tons when shifted 12 meters transversely had listed the ship 3 degrees and produced a deflection of 0 0.25 meter in the plumb line. Now, we are going to find the ship's displacement as well as the length of the plumb line. But in the actual, of course, we only need to figure out for the metacentric height, initial metacentric height. But uh, in order for us to be familiar no, of the formula, that's why um, we make... Uh, this uh, formula or I am not the one who made, made this but uh, we have this formula in order for us to derive uh, something new in uh, the formula which we have discussed. So in this example we are going to use this formula GG1 equals uh, gm times tangent theta because we have the given already so we just need to uh, analyze the problem first and choose whatever formula which is listed is applicable to use then we have gg1 equals weight times distance Okay, so we are just going to uh, derive something new from this formula in order for us to obtain the value that we are in need. So this is the solution. So we need to get first GG1. So, GG1 equals GM times tangent theta because we have the uh, 
formula and uh, use the given values 1 meter for gm times tangent 3 degrees so the result would be 0 0.05241 then deriving with a new formula from the same formula which is gg1 equals weight times distance divided by displacement we can say that displacement equals weight times distance divided by gg1 so displacement equals 12 times 10 divided by 0 0.05241 therefore the shift's displacement at the time where the, the weight has been shifted is 2289.63 including the weight that is within the vessel since we have uh, the displacement which is the entire ship uh, the entire weight of the ship so that includes the weight that we are using for testing which is 10 uh, 12 I mean uh, 12 tons all right so after um, sold for the displacement we need to figure out the length of plumb line which is AS at upright so from this formula original formula we can derive this one which means that we have AS equals GM times ST times displacement divided by weight times the distance then use the given we have the GM which is 1 times the deflection ST which is 0 0.25 times the displacement of the ship which is 2289.63 divided by 10 times 12 weight times distance therefore we have 572.41 divided by 120 that is 4.77 meters that is the length of the yard yeah, that we, we used during the said experiment at upright condition okay so do you have any question